Okay, today we're going to paint a marijuana leaf. Um, this came to me because I like metallic purple and I was thinking to myself, what could I paint with metallic purple? And the first thing that came to me was purple haze. And then I thought about purple haze, hmm, maybe it would be good with something that contrasts with it. What else? A marijuana leaf. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> so I made this real easy because this is a quickie painting. Um, the way that this is, gets easier is that you do it on green paper so that whatever you carve out with your spatula is going to be green. Now there is another way of doing this that would work on white paper, but that I'm going to teach that a um, bunch of months down the line. And that will be for the uh, people who are members. Um, and that's, that's a cool technique uh, and you can get a lot more detail as well. But this is really awesome and uh, this is good for beginners to like do something really cool. Um, you're going to need some green paper. I got my colored paper at Staples, but you can get it like a lot of places. Um, it's not quite as shiny, but it's okay. You can paint on it. It still works great. Um, and, it, and it even kind of looks nice. It eliminates some of the glare that sometimes you get. So I'll go through the materials, what you need. You need metallic purple. I have metal cast, um, but Krylon is basically the same thing, and I, I like the caps better on Krylon. Uh, some white, Montana white, or whatever white you've got. Um, I've got these two little alien purple thingies, so I use those, but you know, just whatever purple spray paint you can get your hands on. <laughs> or even a little bit pinky because you can use that. Um, and you're going to need your spatula and uh, some newspaper and some green poster board and some plates. And you should probably like pot if you do this painting. <laughs> okay, so let's make a pot leaf. Okay, so I've got my green paper. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make some planets on it. So I'm going to put my white where my planet's going to be. And I'm going to have two. And then I'm going to put some purpley colors. So I've got a dark purpley color. And I've got a light purpley color and I put them in that order but you could put them in you know from light to dark if you want uh, it doesn't much matter you get different effects slightly different effects so now I'm gonna put a little bit of a shadow on the outer edges of both of the planets with my Montana black if you have uh, color place black or shadow air black uh, from Alien, use those as well. Um, but another way to create a gradual shading is by using a metallic. So on top of my dark black, I'm going to fade the planet into the black by putting a little bit of metallic in the, in the middle of those two things. And then I'm going to reinforce the top edge with a little bit of white. So that my planets are nice and bright. So now I put my plates on and cover up my planets. And I'm gonna spray a little bit of green in the middle just to make my leaf extra green. And then on top of that I'm gonna just create a pretty purpley background and I'm going to make sure that the lightest area is in the middle because I want that contrast between the, um, the lightest area and the green leaf so it really stands out. So I'm just kind of circling around the middle with different shades of purple getting darker as I go out to the edges. I'm thinking purple haze too. So I'm trying to create kind of a foggy, a foggy thing. So I'm going to put some white in the middle.
Now I'm gonna use my metallic purple to create a little bit more of that hazy effect by just circling around here and there, not, get, not encroaching too far into the middle, but using it to create a really soft, blended, foggy effect by circling around the whole painting, the, outs the outsides of it. I'm going to use a little bit of black and spray along the edges just to, just to frame it a little bit. And I'm just going to reinforce uh, the white by adding a few highlights, a little kind of like a, like a, a white uh, rainbowy line, like a white streak across it. And there, now I'm ready. Now I have a nice background from my pot leaf. So to, to create my pot leaf, I'm just going to draw it with my spatula. And I have to make sure that it's wet enough, so I'm putting some transparent on the middle. And then I take my spatula and I draw the basic shape of the, where the leaves are going to go so that I've got it all planned out. I start with like a little stick figure pot leaf, making sure I've got all the leaves in the right places. So those are the, the lower leaves and that top one will be one of the upper leaves. And then I draw in the leaves approximately where they're going to go just as lines. I suppose once you've done a bunch of these, you know what you're doing and you don't need to do this part. But it's helpful for planning things out. So go find a picture of a pot leaf like I've got there. Okay, so once you've got your your pot leaf just kind of staked out with a, like a stick figure pot leaf, begin to fill in the leaves with your spatula. You know, spray some transparent on it and then just create that jagged edge by dragging your spatula down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, you know, just create a jagged pattern with the side of the spatula. And, uh, you know, my first one didn't come out so clear because uh, I need a little bit more transparent on it. So you can always redo a little more transparent and take off some more paint. And just basically fill in the leaves. Fill in one side, up, down, up, down, up, down, and then the other side, up, down, up, down, up, down. Jag, 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 jag. And the other side. And you do all the leaves like that. Use your transparent whenever you need it, and just keep going. You could do this with a edge of a, you know, nice, thick, hard piece of poster board if you wanted to. You don't have to use a paint spatula. Another alternative would be if you want to just paint the whole leaf on with green and then then uh, use a spatula on top of that. You can create kind of a double, a double layer effect. It might look different. And there are other ways of doing it with uh, foam and, and like a pen and stuff like that, but that'll be an advanced technique. So if you want to learn more cool stuff, Come to Spray Paint Art Secrets and learn all kinds of cool tricks, things that you can do with spray paint. And I'll just wrap up this pot leaf by making sure I've got enough, enough of the purple off so that it looks cool everywhere.
I'll just reinforce the stem a little bit. And oh boy, that looks good enough to smoke. So go make some cool stuff. Use Rasta colors if you want. Use purple haze if you want. I'm putting a little bit more metallic purple on it. I want a little bit more purple haze around my planets. Framing it a little bit. I hope you've enjoyed this and I hope you go try it and make some cool stuff and let me know what happened and come check out Spray Paint Art Secrets for more tricks and techniques. See you on the other side.